So here we are out at uh, Sally's Vineyard out in Ramona. Just taking some quick photos here. Is there? Just checking in on the vineyard, uh, seeing how it's doing. Um, this vineyard pretty much takes care of itself. Uh, real so all dry farmed, doesn't get watered. Um, real low maintenance, real low disease pressure. Um, but need to check in now and then. We do get some grape leaf skeletonizers. Uh, that's about it. Almost no mildew pressure or anything like that. Um, beautiful little vineyard. Not many vines here, maybe about 50. I'm slowly trying to get them replanted. This dates back to the 1930s. Um, some of these are just gorgeous. Uh, it took a long time to kind of rehab this. Um, I always think this guy's really cool looking one. <laughs> um, the grape is uh, called Flame to K here in the U.S. Um, they think it's related to an Algerian variety. Uh, still grown up in Lodi some. Um, this vineyard here we think was planted back in the 1930s. Um, it used to extend over a much greater range. You can kind of see on a neighboring property way out there, there's some vines. You'll see these actual sporadic vines. You can kind of see the highway there. <laughs> the highway kind of, it got moved over the years. <laughs> you can tell by the layout of the vineyard that the, uh, actually the, the, the road must have been somewhere else. Otherwise it would have been cutting right through the vineyard like as it does now. Uh, so this is pretty much what is left of it, bits and pieces. Um, some of these vines, um, course over the years don't quite make it all the way um, but even in the stumps themselves can be pretty gorgeous gnarly old stumps um, that have died over time again slowly starting to replant some of it uh, taking cuttings from the vineyard and just planting them down in but as you see other ones are doing amazingly well still very vibrant after who knows how long uh, like I said we believe it dates back to the 1930s um, you can even see in here, pardon the filming, uh, you can see old fire damage um, down in here. If I can separate it out, you can kind of see how these stumps are hollowed out, burned out old and gnarled. And most of these are actually two vines that were planted side by side and then twisted together. And some of them have separated over time. Anyways, just giving a quick update. Sally's Vineyard. We make just a small amount of sparkling wine out of this. Um, pet Nat, all naturally done, um, that we uh, kind of just save for special events with our wine club.